Carlos Alcaraz has had his best season yet, finishing the year as world number one and adding another two Grand Slam titles to his honours list. There's been a great deal spoken about his technique change earlier in the year, going from the abbreviated motion to the full motion. Now that the 2025 season is done and dusted, it is a perfect time to analyse his entire serve data set to gain a greater understanding as to how this technique change has affected his outcomes. Before we dive into the data, if you're new here, welcome to Tennis Analytica, the home of court level tennis, biomechanics and data analytics. If you enjoy this type of tennis content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat. I'd also love to hear from you. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Alcaraz's 2025 serve motion change and how you think it's impa impacting his results. Your engagement helps the channel massively and it also shapes the next videos I make. Now, let's get into it. On the screen, I've broken down the key server stats from 2025 in a side-by-side -side with the 2024 season numbers. As you can see, he has served 198 more aces this season, 463 as opposed to 265 last year. His serve rating has had an uptick of 1.6 points. The serve rating is a composite score that provides a comprehensive view of a player's overall serve performance, consisting of a multivariable formula from speed, accuracy, effect on the opponent and other things of that nature. The first serve percentage has seen a decline of 1.3%. This would indicate going for riskier targets on the first serve as validated via his ace count. The first serve point win percentage has seen an uptick of 0.9%. The second serve point win percentage has seen a decline of 0.5%. The service game's one percentage has seen an uptick of 1.9%, a massive result. The average double faults per match has seen an uptick of 0.6 per match. Some other interesting data points to note include the following. Alcaraz's overall first serve speed has remained consistent across 2025 as opposed to 2024. This would indicate that accuracy is increased due to his high first serve win percentage when making them. Although the data is not readily available, there are some reports and indications that his second serve average speed in 2025 has dropped around 3 km per hour as opposed to 2024. This would validate his second serve points 1 percentage dropping this season. On net, the key statistic that matters most in this equation in my view is the service game's 1 percentage, in which there was a 1.9% increase in 2025. In summary, despite a mixed bag in relation to the analytics, the key numbers support an improvement of serve in the 2025 season. In my opinion, the things he can improve on are clear. He's so good from the baseline and he's ranked third on tour for second serve win percentage, but he's still 2.3% behind Sinner in this metric. He has the ability behind the serve to get this up to around 60% to match Sinner. He's also 5.4% lower than Sinner in first serve win percentage. So I would say a focus on overall point win percentage on serve to uplift in 2026, with the easier fix being the second serve win percentage. I'm working on a season review video for Yannick Sinner, focusing on the serve, so keep an eye out for this and I'll see you on the next one.